Hey there, Cancer. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. And I'm just going to be pulling you a couple of cards here and to stop by and say hello for December 2020. So Cancer, for those that may be unfamiliar, uh, you are a water sign and ruling planet is the moon. Alrighty, so... Let's see what we've got going on for cancer. This could have uh, any area to do with your life, love, career, finances, lack thereof. So let's just get started here. I apologize about the constant uh, jackhammering in the background. So uh, let's see. We work with what we got, right? Look at this, cancer, right out the gate here. It says, be supportive, make a genuine effort to show that you care. All right. So I'm really loving this card here. Um, you know, it, it's just like you could be in any relationship as far in your own different areas. Some of you are single, maybe in that, should I stay, should I go? Possibly already in a committed relationship or taking it to that next step. All right. And uh, no matter what area that you are in in life here, uh, this is saying to be supportive, not only to yourself, first off and foremost. All right. But to others as well, especially if you're already in a relationship here. Uh, this could very well have to do with maybe not feeling like your your spouse or partner is supporting you. Uh, and that's not just again, you're all in different areas. Uh, this could be, you know, just like, you know, I try, 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 and they're not noticing, uh, you know, it's just like no matter what I do, it never seems to be good enough or I feel like I'm losing somebody. And that's not to scare anybody out there. You know, uh, we are here to do nothing but support and maybe give you a, a tips or a message that possibly may be helpful in your everyday life as well. All right. So basically, too, we've got our angels right here. Uh, look at this. So some of you out there could possibly be working with. Uh, let's see here. You're being supportive uh, of yourself, and it's nice to know that others recognize your your efforts, uh, whether that's career or love, especially. Uh, also, too, uh, again, I don't know if this is you, Cancer, or, or possibly your partner, even if you do not have a partner. It's like I'm not going to get a partner, Carolyn, unless I can find somebody that's going to support me. Uh, Maybe not saying that like, yeah, I'm going to only want somebody to support me financially. I mean, there's nothing wrong with abundance, nothing wrong with finances. All right. Uh, and that's good to have nothing wrong with wanting a stable, you know, committed relationship here. However, uh, it, it's just like this. You want to make sure that especially for my singles out there or maybe just getting into relationships or thinking about the dating game, maybe you've been at the dating game for a while because you've had it with the BS and, and you don't want to even deal with it because nobody was really supportive of you in the past or possibly maybe somebody from the past was supportive of you and it's just like we tried 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 uh prayed to everything that is possibly out there you know uh for this relationship to work and i want this relationship to work i do not want anyone new uh so i'm getting that vibe coming in all right uh this is also to maybe they've been hurt well not maybe yeah they've been hurt too in the pass. All right. Possibly this could also be the both of you doing this. Uh, however, I'm seeing this really good. This is very positive when it comes to uh, for you, Cancer, for December uh, 2020 here. All right. Uh, this is making a genuine effort to show that you care. I'm not saying that you have to make it rain like a hurricane. You know, uh, it, it's nice, though, to get like nice gifts. I'm not saying be cheap or anything like that. Uh, however, it's the message that comes through within that, you know, a token of your appreciation to that person. Perhaps you're a single mother or a single father, and it's just like, all right, and with everything going on, you know, it, it's no surprise if if people start getting a bit emotional and, uh, you know, uh, possibly arguments may be bickering. However, if it's a relationship that is ready to work or if you were in that, should I stay, should I go, I wanted this person to change, and absolutely, I'm a big advocate for people changing. However, uh, you know, practice what you preach. I'm also getting in that song by uh, Teddy Pendergrass, It Don't Hurt Now. Oh, I just got the chills. Yeah. 
Baby, it don't hurt. No, I can't sing. I'm not going to subject you all to that. (laughs) However, uh, it's like, yeah, don't quit your day job here. So let's see. This is, uh, you want that person back as long as they have changed or they are at least making a valid effort. All right. Uh, Be supportive of them. Possibly uh, somebody out there is possibly going through maybe dealing with somebody with addiction issues. Uh, Addictions can be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be drugs or or drinking. Uh, It could be, you know, how do I word this? Maybe like gambling, maybe uh, intimate, intimate type of stuff. Uh, You know, people can change. All right. Maybe I I feel like that this is teamwork. This is the both of you working on this together. And as long as you two remain supportive of each other and, you know, keep fighting on the good fight here, you will be very successful in this relationship. You know, your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, source, past loved ones, even if you do not believe in anything at all. You know, uh, you've got nature out there. You've got the universe out there. You know, uh, there is something that is within you. All right. For those that may be like, well, I don't really believe in this. And, and that's totally cool. You know, uh, everyone is allowed. It, it's, it's your life. All right. It's your life. All right. You do not have to listen to me or these cards. These are not set in stone. Maybe look at some of these like a heads up. And if you don't like, you know, the outcome of it, you can change it again. You are the captain of your own ship. All right. Uh Somebody here is getting married to cancer. What? I didn't even notice that before. Look at this. I'm getting all excited here. All right. Look at that wedding dress here. And it's just like I have prayed to everything out there. I want that person that I could spend the rest of my life with. And I don't want to get into that mundane, boring, basic relationship where, you know, uh, I we commit each other commit to commit each other. Yeah. Jeez. Some of you could be possibly going through that too. People playing games. You don't do what I say. You don't do what I want. Then I'm going to have you committed or I'm going to have you arrested. Don't even get me into it. Been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? I've had that stuff happen to me. Uh, but on the positive here, all right, you are going to be celebrating that what you have been wishing for. So your wishes are going to be coming true, meeting that potential, partner, meeting that uh, person that when you get into that relationship and yeah, relationships are work, you know, uh, it's not necessarily a fairy tale. However, again, who am I to say it's your life? It's your creation. It could be a fairy tale. You know, I see you looking glamorous, though. And I also, too, uh, meeting the in-laws this has been coming up a lot, especially around the, the holiday season, whether you celebrate them, whether you don't. You know, uh, how nerve wracking is it to meet the in-laws or the family or the friends? And it's just like, all right, I want to put on a, a good impression. However, I don't want to be fake, you know, and it just I, I feel like for a lot of you, it's kind of nerve wracking. However, I feel like if you are meeting them, that they're going to absolutely fall in love with you. And if they don't, well, they, you could be supportive, you know, uh, you could do whatever you want, you know, uh, for example, let's say they invite you over for dinner and you're able to get over there or you meet them and, you know, you're, you're helping them with the dinner. If they allow you in the kitchen, they may be like too many cooks in the kitchen. I don't want you touching my food. My baby boy wants it this way or my baby girl wants it this way. And it's just like, I'm almost envisioning, um, one of those like potential mother-in-laws, which will turn into a mother-in-law, maybe father-in-law. I'm not sure. Or a auntie, a grandmother or something like they like it made this way. And, uh, you could make the recipe literally uh, the same exact way that they do, but it's going to be wrong according to them. Like, well, it's different because uh, it's like a mother's love goes into it, which, it, which you know, uh, we, we all have, uh, for example – when my grandmother was alive, you know, she used to make me these uh, strawberry shortcake thingies and it doesn't matter whoever else made it. It wasn't the same as to when she did. Try not to cry here. All right. So you will be successful in this and they will learn to love you. And if they don't learn to love you, it's just like, well, I don't want them to learn to hate me. They, uh, I'll, I'll put it out there to you like this. They may look at it like a, Maybe like a competition, but not in a bad way. I mean, it depends, but they don't want their their, their child taken away from them. You know, uh, it could be 
get, like, all right, we're going to be supportive. You know, we're going to try this out, you know, maybe have like a, a date night, whether we can go out, we're going to stay in, you know, maybe a day without the kids, something like that. So we can just have our time together because it always seems to be like an outside element that like sticks their nose in it and causes like relationship issues. OK. And uh, so you finally get that time together. And then I forget who else I was saying this for. Uh, but, you know, feel free to go check out those readings as well. But it's just like this. You get that phone call. Uh, girl or hey, bro, um, I know you and your girl or guy, whatever, they're supposed to spend the day together, but we've got problems here. Or I know you guys are supposed to spend the day together or the night together. I know this is your time and you don't get much time. And you're just like, oh, gosh, here we go. What is it? <laughs> you know, uh, and it's great to, to feel needed. However, people also need to support your goals. They also need to support your decisions, your dreams. And uh, I'm really, really liking this cancer. Wow. OK, so let's see. Let's pull some more cards for you. What is going on here? Oh, yeah, too. So when some of you do decide to get married uh, and the in-laws uh, particularly, maybe they'll fall in love with you and it'll be great, which I'm rooting for you out there. But then you'll get the ones that want to plan everything. They don't want this uh, wedding or, you know, maybe you're not even getting married, maybe just moving in together, taking it to that next level. You know, possibly maybe if they've got kids and you don't or or you've got kids and they don't uh, or you both have kids. It, it, it's just like, um, OK, maybe a, a graduation. This is a celebration, which is awesome. However, I feel like somebody is going to be coming in <laughs> and they're just like, all right. Well, I'm kind of giving you the side eye, however, I'm going to help you plan this whole thing. And then they take over and it's just like, I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's when the bridezilla, uh, if you will, comes out. It's just like, wait a second here. It's my day, my stuff. Can you please be supportive of me? Or you get the phone call. You shouldn't like people see you happy. And uh, for the most part, I am rooting for you that people are going to celebrate with you, whether you are in a relationship or have not found anyone. You know, you do want people uh, to be supportive of you or just don't show up at all. All right. It might make things easier. However, uh, it's just like when people see you happy moving on with your life and they can't move on with their life. Ooh, boy, do the claws come out. You know, I'm going to miss my friend because they found somebody else and I get it. I understand it. All right, let's see. What else do our angels and spirit guides have to say? But yeah, it almost looks like uh, possibly I'm not seeing much of a cherubim energy when it comes to working with the angelic realm here. However, he does have that, you know, bow and arrow here. Almost like, you know, Cupid had a few too many and he's like, all right, Cupid, come on. Let me come on in. I'm seeing more like an Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael, you know, possibly Archangel Uriel coming on in and, uh, you know, Gabrielle too, Archangel Gabrielle. Yes. Yeah, so you got the four majors right there. Right. The major players. And it's just like, OK, you know what? Uh, <laughs> cherubim here, Cupid, you've had a little bit too much to drink. So we're just going to take your arrow for a bit instead of like going out there and shooting arrows at everyone. You're going to fall in love with this person, this person. Oh, they shouldn't fall in love. Let's be uh, <laughs> love it, love it, love it. So let's see here. Somebody, too, is also working on their appearance as far as, you know, uh, some of us have uh, packed on the uh, vid wait a little bit and you will be successful when it comes to that let's see all right so we also have the queen of swords here uh for cancer you are a water sign however when it comes to particular signs to be on the lookout for maybe some of you are working with could be cancer cancer other water signs you know other than the cancer 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 pisces uh also to possibly cancer scorpio somebody here with gorgeous red hair i'm loving it and i'm like it's that fiery 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 red like you're gonna stop traffic and it's fierce and i'm loving it uh also too we have that in this card too who here has that long gorgeous red wavy hair uh or getting their hair change or something like that i'm not sure but look at that isn't that beautiful okay so we have the queen of swords here she's like nobody's gonna take this from me you know, how dare you? You're, you're not going to. I'm loving it, though, because she has a smile on her face. All right. Let's see what else we have. The storm is going to be behind you for a lot of you as long as you allow it. 
Speaking of hair, wow. You can tell. It's just, I know, I still have to do mine, but uh, yeah, it, it starts getting crazy the more I get into these readings here. What else do we have going on? Ooh, we got the Eight of Cups right here. So we're getting major water signs coming in for you, Cancer, again. Not only yourself, but other water signs as well. And you got that that person that's just standing there with his staff and he's just looking out into the night, the, the moon energy is working with the moon energies as well. Uh, something to, uh, came up about uh, Gemini here. Some of you could also be working with other air signs as well. Gemini, possibly Libra, uh, maybe even Aquarius too. But he's just kind of staring out there just like, when am I going to find the right person or partner, you know, or, you know, I, I look at all these things in the back here, all these cups spill. However, there's a few cups that are uh, starting to get full. I'm not exactly sure what type of animal that is. It could be a mole or something like that. Uh, it's kind of what it looks like. I'm not sure. When it comes to animal spirit guides or uh, animal totems, I guess, if you work with the mole, they, they, their vision, so something to do with your vision, uh, maybe needing glasses. Like, do you need glasses to see what's actually going on here? Uh, you know, so uh, somebody here that's also like a night owl type of energy, nocturnal, sleepless nights, because it's just like, what am I going to find that perfect partner here? You know, uh, and they are out there. You know, you'd rather find something that you want instead of something that, you know, it, it's quick, it's easy, it's fulfilling at that time. But how many times have you gone through that in the past? You want something real and they are coming here. She's just like, I'm not putting up with it. He's just like, I'm waiting. And look, this is great. Really, really, really love this. Swords. Did I say cups earlier? I am so sorry. Swords. So, yeah, air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, too. All right. Uh, so thank you all again so much uh, for allowing me to share this uh, platform for uh, a little bit. So until I see you all later. Bye.